Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Grifflands, where the air is thicker than normal and we all know why, this is real creepy. Listen, if anything, this just redoubles my resolve that killing all of the other Banquads was definitely the right course of action. The shape congeals out of the shadows and he just, you know, he's just not looking so hot. You, you can just see it on his face that something's wrong here. We're just gonna click through this because we know what the deal is. Running out of time. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to realize my potential. I am all about realizing my potential. If you're going to be a creepy weirdo, you can just leave. And so he does, because he recognizes it. It's not like he was unaware that he was being a creepy weirdo. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's step outside and do a thing. We got to go contact Leisha. All right, might want to mosey. We have a lot of important stuff to do later, but I guess we can do some minor jobs first. Uh, it turns out I could really use some money because we go through money very, very quickly. But first, down the road, you notice a group of Admiralty hauling a prisoner, likely en route to the Pearl Prison. Some distance behind, a poorly concealed group of Spree are stalking them. Uh, I guess let's ask the bandits what's going on. I, I think if we approach the Admiralty, there's some chance that the Spree will take it as an opportunity to just jump in and start murdering. Um, let's ask the bandits what's going on. Well, this doesn't look suspicious. What you doing? Shh. We're busting Tog the Knuckle free. The switches won't even know what hit him. Um... Yeah, I feel like, let's see, getting into a fight early in the day is maybe a good idea. Tog the Knuckle will love you. What a, f what a sentence. Do we know, do we know what the meaning of this is? Do we know, do we know what we get from Tog the Knuckle? The name does seem familiar. Uh, let's have a quick look. I kind of want to get in a fight nice and early. Okay, so we have met Tog the Knuckle before. We do not actually know what we get out of that. Um, this will give us a chance to upgrade some more combat cards is what I'm thinking. I guess, actually, never mind. All of our combat cards are upgraded. There is no, there is little to no value to getting in a fight at this point. All right, let's offer to negotiate with the guards then. L listen, you just sit tight. I got this. You saunter up to the group of switches in the distance, flashing a thumbs up back to the waiting spree. Oh, good. That's that's a useful thing to do. So now everybody knows exactly whose side I'm on. Greetings, fine officers of the law. I just wanted to let you know how I appreciate your fine work. Buzz off. Can't you see we got our hands full? We need gestures to the dour-looking spree captive. Here's the thing. Ooh. Ooh, if I have Admiralty friends, you know, and I do, I do have an important Admiralty friend. That said, I think we can just do this. I'm kind of curious what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press this button. Uh, I'm going to mention, I'm going to mention Eden. Hey, uh, Eden's orders. I got to take this prisoner back to uh, base. <sighs> Good riddance. I'm tired of dragging this meat sack around. That was remarkably easy. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Ah, just a little skirt in the law for my own benefit, I assume. You know how it goes. Your friends are back there. Well, it's my lucky day. Awesome. Uh, okay, well, plus four damage on the first attack in battle is kind of a garbage card, a, a garbage boon, but whatever. Boons is boons, right? More boons is more good. That's what I always say. I'll see you soon. Hey, you were looking for me? I gotta say, I'm not sure what you'd want with a guy like me. I am. I hear you've been close to the Great Beaching. Not once, but many times. Is that true? A close might be a little strong. I've been within whiffing distance, but I wouldn't say we're on a first-name basis. I have a client who wishes to procure a genetic sample. It's dangerous work, and the Hessians would find it heretical. Yeah, I mean, what ain't that true of? I require the assistance of someone who doesn't fear the cult. Well, hey, maybe I can help you after all. I'm uh, feeling a little iffy on the beaching right now, though. What's your client want with the sample, anyway? A great and terrible truth. Th their words. My payment in exchange for this service is information. They've promised to share what they know about this behemoth. You may receive shills, however. Yeah, shills are always good. 
Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't hate learning a little bit more about the beaching myself. The information is addictive. Here, take this vial. I need you to fill it with as uncontaminated a sample as you can manage. Once you've done so, head to the rendezvous point to meet with the buyer. Is that clear? It is clear. I would like a little backup. You're going to come with me, ain't you? I can watch your back and get you close, but look, you're the, you're the real expert when it comes to this science stuff. I'm fairly sure we did do this before. All right. Uh, right, right, right. Purple Haze. Purple Haze is a weird one. Um, let's open with... Boy, we have a weird hand. I guess let's open with Unstable. All right, I think we should just play the Visionary Revision now before it gets randomly discarded. Like, this is good enough, right? All right. Absolutely wild rant. No doubt we wild rant. Uh, yeah, right? That seems like a pretty good start. Uh, let's circle back on this. I feel like our deck is... <laughs> our deck has gotten a little silly. Uh, and then... Overturn in this state is, like, pretty fine. So Stool Pigeon, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna do Stool Pigeon. Then we may as well get some Renown back, I, I suppose. All right, pretty strong on the overall. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess, I guess I just want to see more cards. Wide Barrage was a very good draw. All right, turns out this version of Smith can erratically negotiate his way through basically anything. Yeah, you have to imagine, like, with the powder kegs and stuff, this represents him just, like, having a lot of inappropriate blow-ups in the middle of the conversation. It's very uncomfortable for whoever we're talking to. And they're just like, I okay, whatever whatever gets me out of this. Whatever makes it so I don't have to talk to you anymore. Uh, yeah, definitely the 12 damage powder keg. And, um... You know, indecision seems like a... Like a there's really no downside to taking an indecision, I think. I mean, obviously, it's, like, slightly card disadvantage, but we see so many cards in a turn, like, the selection will be really nice. Most folks agree. I'm an idiot. And if I screw it up, then neither of us get any answers, huh? Hmm, I suppose so, if you are as idiotic as you claim. Though at least knowing your weaknesses speaks to your wisdom, if not your cunning. Oh, yeah, I'm hella wise, and my wisdom suggests we work together on this. Uh, very well. Lead on, then. And please be sure to keep me safe, as you promised. Okay, yeah, we've definitely, uh... We got through this last time, and I don't remember it being a problem. I barely remember it at all, frankly. So I'm sure we'll be up for it. It's early in the day, but Admiralty and, la uh, Admiralty and the laborers are busy preparing the beach for the Deltrian visitors. Fortunately, you're good at pretending you belong, and I still look like I'm part of the church. You puff out your chest and walk around to the back of the behemoth, looking down your nose at any laborers who glance your way. I probably should have changed my clothes back, though. I do miss my fancy gold jacket. <laughs> what, what? I'm a very pompous pearly, what? Unsurprisingly, you're soon approached. Here's that lack of cleverness again. Uh, one too many watts, perhaps. Someone's coming. Excuse me, sir. Excuse you, sir. But the bile brokers have been prohibited from accessing the site. The thing is, lullably, we've had bad we've had a bad uh, interaction with you in the past. But uh, I'm here on official business. Don't you know who I am? This is definitely, definitely gonna work. Wow, she just healed us. That was pretty good. That's a pretty good start. Uh, yeah, Wild Rant. Show me... I guess these two. That's an okay start. 
A uh, little indecision. Uh, you know, I don't think we're gonna need that. Well, it's not super compelling. I mean, it's fine. It's not as explosive a turn as we might have liked, but... Okay, here we go. Here comes the good stuff. So, I mean, first of all, powder keg. Secondly, powder keg stuff. And good aim from our powder keg there. So now I'm not even actually in any danger. I guess let's ransack. Uh, yeah, this is like, this is pretty good. Um, the Renown's gonna, the Renown's gonna chunk me a little bit, so let's, ah, uh, but I only have, I do wish that this cost one argument now. You know what, I'm just gonna take it. We'll just, we'll just eat some damage on the Renown. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, wow. Boosted circle back is bananas. Um, are, is this overkill? Are we actually going to get benefit from having yet another powder keg? Actually, I kind of think probably not. I'm going to, I'm going to take the pale one. And there's a certain, there's a certain point at which you are just overdoing it based on the amount of resolve you expect your enemies to have, you know? Um, you know, I've never much cared for Fall Guy before, but now that we have powder kegs, I think I will take one. And also it comes with a little bit of money. Relax, bud. This here's my physician. I, I got a bad case of the blues, you see. Uh, on account of how my parents got crushed by the big blob over here? Y you mean, that's right. I'm a banquad. <laughs> so, one of the few remaining. We're really an endangered species lately. Uh, of course, sir. I'll just uh, inform the high priest that you're here, shall I? We'll have someone show you around in a uh, sanctioned manner. Why did I even need to play cards if all I had to do was say my name out loud? The priest scuttles off. Appropriate, considering it's a beach. Well, if I had known you'd made it so easy, I might have brought more vials. Yeah, well, no time for regrets. Looks like you've got about three minutes to do the thing. On it. The bile broker moves quickly, unwrapping some tools from a wax-treated envelope and digging deep into the behemoth's blubber. Okay, easy. Yeah, let's definitely get out of here before that guided tour comes back around. Not because I think we'll be in any danger, but because I do not want to go on the tour. It sounds boring. The rendezvous isn't, rem isn't anywhere remarkable, but you smell something like overturned earth, deep and musky. Hail, Pak. We brought the sample, as requested. Now... You'll tell me of the Roalock, yes? Show me the sample first, then I'll answer your questions. The vial is sealed, but Pock takes the sample with long leaden tongs. Hey, what's the deal here, buddy? That behemoth has been on the beach for days. Plenty of time to work its mischief indeed. The beaching was merely the beginning. Whatever parasite created the behemoth, it has moved on to a new host. One Vixmali Banquad, if I'm not mistaken. Now that is a sample I'd like to collect. What, Vic, what do you mean Vix has got a parasite? Ah, a friend of yours, this Banquad. I'm afraid you'll have to kill him. That is, assuming you want to save the world. My, <laughs> my vocal work for her is creeping slowly and slowly more Yoda-like, which I guess is appropriate. Uh, sorry, what? I spoke plainly. Process this information as you will. But do not plague me with your rhetorical questions. <laughs> plague me not with your rhetorical questions. Uh, that's a little joke, you see, because yeah, because of the plague. Because the world's gonna end. Yeah, I guess I'll do the thing. Look, I'm not gonna pretend to have any clue what you're talking about. But if this is a problem that can be solved with fists, then I'm pretty sure I can fix it. An ancient problem warrants an ancient solution. Your fists should do just fine. Uh, I'm also gonna need backup for this and uh, liquor. A lot of liquor. I mean, I think. Actually, probably both. <laughs> Later. Sure, I'll save the world or whatever. Maybe. Uh, Sweet Marie's is hoping and hosting an open mic event. 
yeah, let's let's do it. I can't wait to see what uh, what Smith's stand up routine looks like. You enter the bar and see a small group of people sitting around a small stage where someone is telling jokes. Smith here to give a little performance. Uh, what does my negotiation deck look like now in terms of experience? So we could just cap out on Tondra and Indecision. Or we could drop a card. To be perfectly honest with you, I kind of think Thoughtless just sort of ended up outside of the strategy. It's too expensive and there's not enough cards in my deck that I actually want to expend. Yeah, I kind of think that's the way to go. Although I do want to hear the jokes. Uh, I think you could give me some tips. Well, of course. This is how I write most of my stuff. Benawim pulls out a notebook and shows you his process. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and dump the boosted Thoughtless. So you see, sometimes you just gotta know what to cut. Hey, thanks. And uh, with that, I guess... I don't have enough resources to really benefit from the party star, I don't think. What does it cost to remove a card? Yeah, 140. I, I forgot about the um, <laughs> all, all my bad credit, but I did not, in fact, have enough money for even the base price. Uh, well, I guess that's all the partying I can do. So... Just go talk to Marif. It's time to time to get my back up. Time to call in the troops. There are an awful lot of people who love me, you know? You tell sweet Marif what you just learned, and he takes it about as well as you did. So, Vix is going to destroy the world. Uh, that's what the bogger made it sound like. Only, it's not him, is it? It's the, the parasite or whatever. I thought Kradeshi were good about getting dewormed. I think this one might be a little tougher than that. So, let me get this straight. If you go ahead and beat up your brother, which you were planning to do anyway, then that'll make me some kind of hero, huh? I guess I always knew I was destined for greatness. Or destined to be the first one to the slaughter, maybe. It's gotta be at that assembly tonight, yeah? Oh, you're gonna need help. I'll put the word out. Let your allies know they should gather. And, you know, we have a considerable number of allies. Uh, this this version of Smith has been a little bit more divisive than the last one, but still, a lot of allies. And I don't think we have anything to take care of. Let's just do it. Alright, what do you say? One last open tab? Aw, sweets. You, you're a good friend. If we both get mutated into some kind of new slime mold or something, I hope we're still pals. Yeah, I think so. You tend to grow on people. I get it. It was funny the first time, and it's funny this time. You pass the hours fortifying yourself for the night ahead. Night falls and the bar clears out. Seems all of Pearl on the foam is planning to be at the beach, if not take advantage of the empty streets. Right, last one for the road. Can't put it off any longer. Well, the reinforcements are here. Can't say it stood up, stands up to your schoolyard entourage, but that's better than nothing. What, this is everyone? Everyone who came when called, anyway. Uh, maybe there's a few people in the grave who might have had your back, but you can't ask them. So, what you thinking? You got a plan for getting close to Vix? Oh, I'm just going to crash the party, aren't I? Everyone in the Pearl is going to be there, which means everyone who hates you will have the perfect chance to show it. And these friends you have here are all... Are all uh, <clears throat> these friends you got here all have better inns than you do. Use them. Yeah, I guess I could send someone to waylay some other handsome Kredeshi and steal his invite. You could do, or maybe one of them can work with the caterers and get everyone a little too tipsy. Hard to see you if they've clouded their vision with drink. I don't know, it's never impaired me. You know, that's the exact kind of wishful thinking and foolish optimism that usually gets me where I'm going. Yeah, I know, I'm learning. All right, well, let us consider our options. So I'm a little surprised that Eden showed up. Well, dear brother, it seems you'll need my influence now more than ever. I'll remind you that I'm a delicate rose and this outfit is expensive, but I'll do what I can if you ask. Yeah, um... 
she should be able to just like mix in with the caterers with no problem, right? She's allowed to go wherever she wants. You know the ins and outs of schmoozing better than anyone. Could you convince the caterers to spike the menu? <sighs> Hardly a test of my ability, darling, but I do love to show off. Consider it done. Okay, yeah, easy. Should be an easy one. Benoim's just here because he likes drinking. He's not, re not really part of the plan. Uh, hey, Eden. Soon to be head of the family, it seems. I couldn't have plotted it better myself. Uh, I need to steal someone's invite so I can get into the party without raising the alarm. You got any ideas? You're good at confiscating stuff, right? Ha! <laughs> You're asking if I have cause to arrest a, a boastful Kradeshi on this of all nights. Yes, I certainly do. You'll get your invite. Yeah, easy. And then... Te Utaro... I guess just sit this one out. I feel like we got it covered, right? Te Utaro will just hang out with me. Yeah, makes sense. All eyes are on you. People are scared and looking for leadership. Well, I do not feel that I am the appropriate person for this, but fine. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's do this thing, I guess. You ready, Eden? Ready as I'm ever going to be. See you on the other side, Grifter. The room empties. Be careful, Smith. That's, I almost... I don't even know how to pronounce our character's name. It's... It's been nice having you back in town. Yeah, I've been in tougher scraps before. You don't need to worry about me. Sweet Marie returns to the bar and starts chopping onions for the night's stew. Let's go. Why is everyone being so serious? It's not like we got the fate of the world to deal with. All right, I guess let's do it. I guess we can save the whole world. You get close to the party and Eden approaches you. Here you go, one fresh invitation. Hey, that's a pretty good match for me. What happened to, uh, Fulo? They've been detained. Eden returns to the party. You wait for her to blend in and then follow. Stop right there. This is an invitation-only event. Well, it's a good thing that I have such an invitation, then. In a totally normal way. Huh. They're just letting anyone in nowadays. Sick burn on Fulo, I guess. You're in the party. The hoi polloi of the Pearl are milling about, making shady deals, and generally having a good time. And wait, what's this? Is that... Free booze? Oh dear, it is. I mean... I mean, no, I'm going to skip this round. We're going to drink heavily, but we're going to drink heavily during the fight. Uncharacteristically, you abstain. Are you growing as a person? Lost in thought, you bump someone's arm, causing them to spill their drink all over their fancy clothing. Oh yeah, this guy. I do, I, I do kind of actually like his outfit, though. You see through the haze of anger that it's some high muckety-muck straight from Deltry. Of all the arms to bump, you had to choose one that's an international incident. I mean, I didn't really choose, did I? Oh, I can't afford to pay for cleaning. All right, well, this is self-defense. I shouldn't kill him, but it, should I kill him? We may kill him. I'm probably going to kill him. All right, uh, so we're not, whatever this, whatever we take here, we're not going to get it in our hand right now because our hand is maxed out so boy I don't know I guess bandage maybe that's that's a, a good emergency card for later and then I mean obviously drink I guess let's just lay on the trauma and get started right as ever it feels like unknown concoction is just kind of not useful here we really i don't want to spend the bottle so i guess i just <laughs> i guess i just passed the turn with two actions up like it feels weird but i do think it's right all right not too worried about the gnarled effigy these cards are just not any good I guess I play duck, because, like, it's going to burn out either way. May as well get the experience on it. All right, dude's got five counter. The thing is... I don't actually care, right? 
and then do I do I kill him? We shouldn't kill him, right? We're on a mission. I'm going to I'm going to not kill him. He's got a sword and he's in his counter stance, but I brought a gun. So, problem solved. Yeah, damn straight you yield. You Havarians are as tough as you are rude. Yeah, well, you too, buddy. Same to, same to you. Got him. Nailed the comeback, as usual. Blend back into the crowd. Eventually, the house music spells, or swells, swells, and the crowd turns to face the beaching. Fix Molly himself saunt saunters out onto a platform on top of the great beast. I don't, how did they even construct that? Fix Molly steps up to the mic, and if you train your eye real close, you can almost see the way his skin shimmers. Hesh was a gift, and we have spent a thousand years squandering it. Perhaps the next time around, we will all learn to be just a bit more grateful. Wait a minute. He's, he's looking out over the crowd, I guess. He's, he doesn't see me yet. Ah, that's just stingers. That was a slippery climb. Thanks for waiting. Whose bright idea was, the, was it to do this on top of the behemoth anyway? Yours or your hitchhikers? I see you saved up your irreverence for this occasion. Hey, you're not the only one who could drop by unannounced with a mouthful of marbles. You're sick, Vix. That's why you kicked me out of the family, right? Look, I'm not mad anymore. I get it. I kicked you out of the family because you're a waste of sea salt. You're a parasite, sucking on resources and feeding your waste to whatever hangers-on you've attracted. Mother always said you were good at making friends, that once you'd sown your oats, you would benefit the family. But that's never been it. You just gather flies, eager to feast on whatever fester you've created. Oh. Okay. Yeah, hey, you know what? I am still mad. Yeah, we're just murdering the hell out of him. This is a murder the hell out of people run. Oh no, Vix Molly hates me. Whatever shall I do? I do hate these all these stupid um, gnarled effigies, though. Uh, Well, what do I think is going to be most useful? Speed tonic, I guess? None of those were great. All right. Drink. Uh, we don't want to spend our predictive blast just yet. We do have... Yeah, okay, this is not bad. This is not a bad start. Wait, what is this thing again? Okay, yeah, don't don't take un, unmitigated damage from him. It'll be fine. God, I love the art on that card. And we'll just give him one of these real quick. Okay. Seems like a pretty good start. So... Yeah, this is a pretty good time for a flying dropkick. And then, sadly, I kind of don't have a lot to, um... I guess I play the toughen ups. I'm already going to heal back to full. The card could use some XP, I suppose. Yeah, it's... I'm good. And our brother is traumatized. So this is when I shot him with a rocket launcher? I guess body blow is pretty good here. Are we good now? You're such an ass, Vix. You always were. But I guess it takes one to know one. I... <clears throat> Vix stumbles to the ground, and then the ground opens up and swallows you both. You fall for what feels like too long and land with a squishy thud. Just when you think you'll never breathe again, you land ankle deep in sickening bile. The belly of the beast lays open before you, and it is truly disgusting. Ugh, Ash. If I get out of this, I swear I'll stop making sweets do all the cleaning. I'll do my fair share. I'll, I'll even ugh, clear out the shower drain. Vix, Vix, where are you? S Smith, 
Yep, yeah, that's not good. Suckers of the Abyss. Okay, well, yep. Feel like um, maybe this conversation's over. We, uh, we can probably fix this. This is this is probably fine, right? You just gotta, you know, throw it all up. Fortunately, you have an additional mouth, which should really aid in that. I will consume me and the memory of me and the memory of the memory. Okay, I see we're going to have to do this the other way. You know, the way that I always do it. All right, let's just, let's just, let's just smash. Enough talking, more smashing. Uh, so, you know, stun gun, stun gun seems good. All right, you're just healing and stuff. Nothing, nothing too fancy yet. Drink. And then maul. First the drinking, then the mauling. Pretty standard opening turn, actually. Yeah, that's a good start. They're kind of cute, honestly. So he's got some temporary power. Fix of Hesh's next attack applies bile. Cannot be stunned. Well, bummer. Okay, uh, this does seem like an okay time for a spearhead. I mean, it's not awesome, obviously, but I'm going to do this predictive blast. So who's hitting me for 11? Okay, Vix himself. So we want to aim this at Vix. Oh, it's going to hit everybody and it's not going to. That's a shame. I thought that it would, I'd hit Vix with it and it would do the same amount of damage to everybody else that it was doing to him. Apparently not quite the way it works. Uh, well, I guess, do I want to play Recycle? Probably not, right? I'm just going to do this and then pass. Uh, maybe I should have done All Rounder. I, I definitely should have. Okay. Well, we've dealt with a couple of them. I still don't want to do this, so... I'm feeling... feeling okay about that. Whenever you drink, discard a card. Aw. Well... Here, let's do this. And then I'm not gonna not drink. Yeah. This seems like an okay, an okay attack there. Just a mild 44 damage. I probably don't want to play the letter opener yet. Oh, hell yeah. I can't believe he managed to make my drinking into a bad thing. Can you, can you imagine the audacity of it? Uh, so... This sucks. We're going to lose a lot of a lot of potential damage here, but I really don't want to do the leaving green before we get all this other stuff off. Then I am going to go ahead and do it just to add the bottle. One more turn of this noise, huh? Did not get my stun. Well, that's a little awkward. Yeah, that'll do. Do I want to heal? Yeah. I think we have enough bottles, so we can afford to. I really think that um, Smith's campaign, on the whole, is quite a bit more difficult than the other two. But this boss fight is uh, not that not that tough. 
it's a little anticlimactic after everything. Uh, yep, that's what I was looking for. Boy, we have a lot of cards in our deck that are not attacks. Hmm. Do I just... I'm just gonna rocket launch him, I guess, and then... End the turn. Yeah, we'll look for a uh, a better finisher, a better a better thing to unleash on the traumatized here. Uh, yeah. Well, I found what I was looking for. Does it apply to the whole bonkers attack? Oh, it does. That's pretty handy. Quite a lot of damage overall. I should have. I should have drunk first. Obviously, who, who needs sequencing? All right, I'm gonna get this back up on you. I'm gonna try the stun gun again. No wait, he's got he's got unstoppable right now. Never mind. I think I'm just gonna hit him. We do need to deal with the Lumicites, but also... That card, it's, it's just so much more effective when it's used on Vix. Alright, once again, once again, the Noxious Bile. Uh, well, this seems like a fine time for the Shred Maw Shell. And then... You need to start working through these things. Uh, draw cards, draw cards, draw. Can, sh show me the cards, man. I guess I'd better heal, but I'm not very happy with that outcome. Yeah, this is a huge percentage of my total HP. Me talking trash about how this uh, how this fight's less difficult. Of course, of course, it discarded the spearhead. God damn it! Uh, well, I need thirteen to kill that one. Ten runs it off, which is good enough. And then... And I narrowly survive. <laughs> pretty ugly. And of course all of my cards make me drink, so... So Vix is gonna kill me. I guess I want to do this to you. And then this to you. And that gets me enough defense that I will now survive because of the moxie. Yeah, the damage uh, it built up quick. Okay, we got a we got a moment's reprieve here, and I'm no longer. No longer poisoned. Uh, so, of course, this is when Flying Dropkick shows up, when I do not need it at all. Uh, definitely Healing Recycle. 
And then I'm actually kind of out of stuff to do. There we go. That's something. All right. So we got you pretty close to trauma. Maybe I should just kick for the damage. I mean, no, we're still so far away. I don't think I can afford to lose flying dropkick in a situation where it doesn't actually do the thing I need. Playing this card doesn't do anything at all, but I guess, yeah. Oh, different friends. Next up, Corrosive Bile. Moxie no longer heals. Okay. More annoying than anything. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Spearhead into bonkers is pretty, pretty fun, actually. Uh, and then he's, he is unstoppable. He's only unstoppable on turns when I have the stun gun, which is a hell of a coincidence. Okay, I did find my dropkick. In a, in a moment of desperation here, we have found exactly the card we needed. So I should probably drink first though, right? All right, I do need bottles. This is what I was looking for. Oh, I should have roll done rolling toughen up before that. I'm so used to, like, not worrying about the damage from the kick. It worries me that it's still showing death, even though I have evasion. Am I missing something? No, okay, it's just, it's just wrong. Cool, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're, we're gonna have enough defense to be fine. It's getting close. It's getting close. God, not having the constant health income, actually, like, it really does add up, huh? Okay, cool. There we go. That's a real card, sort of. Uh, we don't really need more bottles. I have three bottles over here, so I think what I need is big brain. All right, please. Oh my God, thank God. Ooh, that makes my life so much easier. Uh, so we go bonkers, right? Or do I just do quenched bash into healing recycle? So this will get my health back up to 15, which takes me above what he generally does in a single hit. But this will take him down to, like... No, no, it's got to be this. This takes him down to a point where I can actually kill him. I can, I can do 13 damage. Se uh, sorry, 17 damage. Most of the time, we can do 17 damage. Although I will note that there's not a lot of action in this hand. Okay. Boosted stack was a great draw. Stun. Got it. Awesome. And now, let's see if we can actually draw. Okay, never mind. We got damage. It's all good. And we wouldn't have accepted a surrender anyway, so I don't. I don't feel too bad about that. Okay, maybe the lesson here is: Hey, SP, shut up. Vixmali is dead, but you don't feel that you were the one to kill him. No, that's ridiculous. I want the credit. I worked really hard to kill him. 
you emerge from the behemoth's carcass to find yourself the center of attention, which makes sense considering you're covered in rot rotting blubber. When it's clear you're the only survivor, the crowd begins to turn on you in outrage. You scan the crowd for a friendly face, but you might just be alone. You're soon overshadowed, though, a sensation you're familiar with growing up with the siblings you had, but this time it's more it's like more of a literal shadow. You follow the gaze of the crowd up as a giant tentacle erupts from the sea and with puckers as red as the tide, which is a thing that is red, apparently, latches onto the bloated carcass of the behemoth. It drags the creature below the waves, leaving only an outline of rot where it lay. And you. And I'm just going to take this moment to sort of excuse myself. To say things were different after that would be an understatement. With Vix Molly dead, the cult struggled to interpret the beaching's true meaning. Was it a blessing, a test, or a challenge? The Banquad name brought controversy and doubt to the cult. If you could challenge Hesh, then maybe so could others. And you didn't do much to dissuade them from the notion. Building a family has its challenges, but you may do with the resources available. Some days were better than others. Other days, you were worried you'd wake up dead. With Andronette at the table, the parties got bigger and louder, but the finances grew too. She proved talented at turning drama into profits. And while she was sometimes exhausting to keep up with, she certainly kept things interesting. It took a while for the pilgrims to clear out, but they soon learned there wasn't anything especially divine about Pearl on the foam. Maybe they chased their faith elsewhere, or found they'd lost it somewhere in the chaos. One way things didn't change was in law. Eden maintained the status quo, gifting liberties to those who paid, and meting out punishment to anyone in between. There hadn't been any sign of the Rolock again, though every now and then a rumor bubbles up and lingers like sea foam. You never saw a tie again, at least not face to face. But every now and then a shadow catches the edge of your eye, and you know you're being watched. And when you weren't minding the family's affairs, you found other reasons to stick around. Even with the rumors knocking at your ears and the unrest rumbling beneath your feet, you kept your footing. After all, if there was one thing you know best, it's how to live in the moment. Really, just again, it's, it's impossible to overstate how insane most of those line reads are. I just get like, you know, I'll say this. She's playing in the space. She's just like, emphasis is a emphasis is a toy and people are not experimental enough with it. Uh, so hits twice can target opponent or friendly arguments. That's interesting. You could blow up your own powder kegs. If this argument is destroyed by you, recreate it and increase its damage by three does two damage like these always leave important parts of the thing out of the text like the part where this deals two damage each turn uh yeah these seem very cool very much in the strategy that we were in this time uh choose a card in your hand place it on top of your draw pile card in your hand deals double damage until played these are less compelling oh and we didn't even unlock another set All right, so like I was saying before, I want to uh, I want to do some maximum prestige runs, but boy, it seems that you, you just got to play a ton of this game to unlock the higher difficulties. So I'm not sure exactly how I want to approach that. Um, like I said, I might just do some play off camera, just push through some campaigns really quickly if I can. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is that Griftlands might be going on a little break until I've unlocked the higher difficulties, and then we'll come back and we'll do some Prestige 7, I think it is, uh, on camera. Or 
I don't know. If, there, if there's something else you'd like to see me do here, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments and I will take it into consideration. I don't know exactly whether there's going to be an episode of this tomorrow or, or what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to leave you in suspense. And the only way to resolve that suspense is, of course, to come back next time, tomorrow. And we'll see you then.